ICO challenge. Okay, so you decided you want to create your own ICO. What's next? What's the first step to take? Well, you need some kind of token. You need something to represent ownership of your company. Investors will buy this token or cryptocurrency from their wallet and receive this token back to the same wallet. And hopefully in the future, they will be able to trade this token on an exchange. So you need a wallet, obviously. My Ether wallet seems to be the most popular choice. Most things that you need to do is possible for my Ether wallet. I played around with something called MetaMask and it's also a very smooth and simple alternative. I, uh, I like them both. Very important that you remember the uh, password or if you choose the uh, key store file. If you lose these, chances are your money is gone because there's no way to get them back. How is this token created? Well, no matter which way you choose to go, you need to pick three things. You need to pick how many tokens to create. You need to pick a name like Bitcoin. You need to pick a ticker like BTC. Everything else is a different depending on what way you go. Most of the time, this token will be created on an existing platform for two reasons. It would be uh, time demanding and expensive to create from the ground up. The other one being if you create it on a network that already exists with open source, people will trust it more. So Ethereum is a, um, a popular choice. It's big, it's uh, stable, and it's uh, quite easy actually to create the token. You also have some kind of protocols more or less like the ERC20, which is the most commonly used one. And this describes function for this token. What happens, for example, if the uh, cap is not hit? If you uh, create, for example, the ERC20 from the open source, you'll get the source code from Ethereum web page. And you can choose to, uh, to compile this and test the code on your own. I've done this and it's not really super complicated. And I do not have a background in programming and still I managed to do it within a day or so. Uh, what I used was uh, Ethereum Wallet, GitHub, and the Solidity Remix compiler, and uh, yeah, zapping back and forth through those. You can also have someone else do it, like Nerium, Tokamint, Selmint, whatever. And they offer everything from token creation to launching of the ICO, and the price is very different between these days, from a couple of dollars more or less to uh, several thousand dollars. Uh, but what I picked what I would suggest that you would use if you want to create a token is Minerium. You can find it on Minerium.com. What you need, and this is a very simple way, but still it's a couple of things that you actually need. And it's kind of complicated to, to set it all up. But when this is done, the process is kind of fast. You need a MyEther wallet, and both for paying for the service and for receiving the tokens back to this wallet. You need 11 at the moment Minerium. You can get these at livecoin.net. And at the moment, uh, one Minerium is about $0.5. I need some Ether. Um, since this is run up on the Ethereum network, this is for the, uh, the gas price and stuff like that. Looks something like this. Uh, you can see the current price right now, 10 Minariums. And you can track the process down here. And you have the how to use the service right here, which has a very detailed description on step by step how to take this. And you also have a video showing all steps of this process. So I'm not going to spend time doing the step by step how to create. Uh, it's quite simple. The video description video is six minutes long. I'm going to link it in the description. My definite choice if you want to create a token, Ethereum.